Welcome back, dear viewers. Wow, that was an amazing report. And uh, what amazes me uh, more is the makeup that was on these characters that uh, participated in the expo, Aziz. Yeah, the, the, I noticed the, uh, the amazing opening that time. You will see like a marvelous art. So our guest today, Sibi Charasa, she's specialized in one kind of art. But I'm already curious because in her already interviews before, she said like, it's an art. Yes. We don't know which, which kind of artist. I think it, she's a makeup artist, but she's even more than that. Dear viewers, let's welcome Sabicha Rashid. She's with us here in our studio. Welcome thank and good you. morning, Sabicha. A very good morning to you. You're most good. welcome and thank you for joining us today in our show. Good thank morning, you. Kuwait. Thank you so much for hosting The me. intro, Expo 2020. Yes. Andrea Bocelli. Yes. And there is also a singer. She already take, you already took a photo with them. Yes. And you are you the one who did the makeup. Yes for the opening. Tell me about this experience, Agitia. It's a beautiful experience to work with celebrities. It's completely different than working in, you know, the fashion weeks in London or in Milan because celebrities are, you know, they're celebrities and it gives you a good credib credibility for your work. Um, I was really honored to be part of such a huge event, Expo 2020, especially that it's in Dubai. Yeah. So, so and we can see also the, the glue and also when she <laughs> saw the videos already. Yes, yes, we're very excited as you are actually. Thank you. And uh, Thank of you. course you are uh, one of the few in the region yes. uh, to have participated as a makeup artist in the expo. Yes. Tell us about that experience, how you were chosen to be. Of course, I know that they've chose, chose you because you're beautiful, but I know that you have more <laughs> skills <laughs> than that. Thank you, thank, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, well, of course, they will look at many different, as, you know, many different things, let's say. Of course, they will see how many certificates you have, where did you study, what did you study. And especially in England, where I studied, even to choose you for the fashion weeks, they don't choose all the students. They need someone that can really work under pressure. They are calm in their way they don't get like overexcited even if they saw celebrities because you know we're humans and when we see celebrities we get really excited or thrilled but I'm always calm and um, they really care about the hygiene and how polite you are and you know the makeup etiquette you have and etc um, so of course they contacted me and they had an interview with me uh, online nice. and to and they really needed to know one thing that do you really have a male grooming certificate can you do makeup mm -hmm. for men and I said yes mm -hmm. and back then when I studied in England and the course was there I said do I really need it or not but yes mm -hmm. let me just wow. do it <laughs> yes and <laughs> look at and that. it just clicked yes. yes and it just worked so it's like a series completing together, like you choose something yes. and now the result is more amazing. Exactly. So let's talk more about the results. Yes. Expo 2020 is like something like you will not forget. Never. But I know also you have another event you already attended before. Also, yes. you did something marvelous on it. Tell me more about it. About London and Milan Fashion Weeks. Yes, yes it's a beautiful, you know, because you wake up really early around 4 a.m. and you mm -hmm. have to be on set and diff you know the beauty of the history and architect and everything and my first makeup like the first first work I've done it was in London History Museum nice. and the models were walking around the, the you know around the dinosaurs and I was doing the makeup and mm -hmm. behind the mirror and the glass was a gorilla and I was so <laughs> you know w so thrilled by everything mm -hmm. everything was so nice and uh, it's just beautiful to work with a lot of models and the pressure is really nice mm -hmm. like there is a different kind of pressure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of course if you loved your job you would love everything that comes with it and nice. well, she mentioned something about pressure so you would like to work under the pressure sometimes like it, it goes to a good question like it's an advantage to work under the pressure sometimes right yes of course because you know you can you know there is a different energy that you have it's hidden mm -hmm. but if you want to bring it out mm -hmm. you cannot bring it out in a very let's say normal water mm -hmm. you yes. need that wave and the wind and the fire and the, all the elements to give you that really passion with the pressure to work Nice. I really yes. love it. I really love it. Um, yes. They say still waters rarely make an excellent sailor. Exactly. I mean, That's a really oh. good one. 
And uh, of course, we, we can watch from here. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, this is some of your work. Uh, actually, I only retouched her makeup. Okay. Yes. But uh, Sabicha, there's another question that we want to ask. Of course, yes. you have this beautiful and soft uh, side when it comes to makeup. Yes. And then you have uh, the skills of uh, special effects makeup. Yes. Do they clash? Do you think, or sometimes do you do you feel like they can clash, or some people will misunderstand your way of makeup? Tell us more about that, please. Okay. So the light and the dark, you know. Uh, let's say the both sides it's a human nature we can be happy and we can be angry happiness is light and being angry is dark and light cannot exist without darkness that's what I truly believe um, however if someone misunderstands me it's it's there you know we're all different we don't have the same parents we didn't go to the same schools mm -hmm. You know, it's it's normal, but some people will not because I appreciate and see beauty in everything. Even in the dark, it's really easy to make someone beautiful, but it's not really easy to make them look older, uglier, let's say, mm. a vampire, some, some other characters. Yes. And here where it comes the challenge, and here mm. where you sh really show your art and skills, and I'm always drawn into that side, nice. the misunderstood one. Mm -hmm. Because once you embrace that side, you will bring justice to the art field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there is a lot of lightness. You will see all the beauty. Everyone is trying to show that the best out of them. But when you go to that side, some people really get scared. But mm -hmm. I don't. Nice. I wow. really don't. I love how she's very calm, yeah, Aziz. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this reminds me of uh, one part that I want to mention. Mm -hmm. On your social media account, yes. what I love the most, I mean, I love your makeup uh, Thank you. uh, tutorials, but I love the most when you put these uh, inspirational quotes. Yes. For example, I'm beautiful because I'm not perfect. Yes. Um, I, I'm confident within my skin or within my... Absolutely. I love that. And it really reflects on uh, your your persona Thank and the you. way you're talking. It's beautiful. Yeah, remind yourself every morning, like, you know, when you look at yourself in the mirror because, you know, the change come within. Yes. And uh, if you are confident and secure within yourself, you will not be worried about someone misunderstands you. Yes. Because you're secure and confident within yourself. And also an addition about the social media. There yes. Is, there is one of the videos about the makeup tutorial. Yes. It become the most watched video ever. Which seven one? rules of the makeup. Seven or six? Seven. 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 seven, seven, seven. <laughs> okay. So seven rules of the makeup. Should yes. All the ladies following them. Of course. That, yes. That video it was spreading a lot. It's true. Tell me about the story of this video. Um. I actually forgot what I said in that video because I post a lot, yeah. but I know that the, story, the yeah. rules yeah. about it, it's like I'm very genuine mm -hmm. and whatever comes in my mind and through the experience, I would just put the camera and mm -hmm. talk about it. But the seven rules is about, in general, mm -hmm. my account for the people. I don't try to show off the people that my skills and talents and all that, mm -hmm. this is for my portfolio, this is what drives me to be chosen for expo or the fashion weeks but for the normal people in th such large I'm very sorry to say it's a fake industry everyone okay. is trying to be perfect mm -hmm. and all of that and they think if they didn't put the full makeup in the morning or whatsoever they're less or if they didn't do the plastic surgeries or and even you know, the filter yes. on that, yes. or the filter yeah. they cannot mm -hmm. get out without you know uh, do a picture without a filter I realize that they really need to have the seven rules of makeup mm -hmm. to really accept what they are, not to hide their problems. Mm -hmm. Like, for, for example, like, oh, I have dark circles under my eye. I need to buy a really mm -hmm. strong concealer to cover it. That's but if you really, oh, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Later, I'm going to tell you which is a really good <laughs> concealer. The, the thing is, this point, mm. it's about it's okay. Maybe yes. your body is talking to you. No, she's very good. Don't and know. also, see a glimpse about the makeup. The makeup's the yes. The oh yes, yeah. The black lipstick. Yeah. Mm. Yes. And um, yeah. So why do you need to cover the problem? You n you know your body is talking to you. Listen to it. You know, just work 
on the, the issue. inner yes. beauty before the outside beauty because this is the most important thing and there is some concealers that help you to reduce the dark circles in the next four weeks so mm -hmm. it's not only about hiding 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 that's why I did the seven rules to show. Wow that's, yeah that's a very good way of looking at it it's a different perspective yes so while you're working on your inner body issues to fix your for example your flaws that you you don't like mm -hmm. uh, you can you can hide for some time but not all the time no. that's yeah no it's true that's beautiful and there is something else also i want to get distinguished guest uh, ceviche <laughs> Rashid. i notice uh, there is something that comes in my mind one of your interviews said how does it feel when you after you finish a makeup for a person and that that person was very happy how does it feel i feel happy you feel happy i feel really happy mm. it really makes my day mm. when people appreciate you mm. appreciate your work appreciate your point of view i know that many people in the region they don't appreciate what i do because i am very honest it's but depend I upon the person. Yeah. Yes, but I am very honest. If something will not really look nice on you, I will tell you. And we'll try to do something even better to enhance and bring out your beauty. Of course. And anyway, as remember when you asked me the first questions, like how and why they chose you not to choose, not they didn't choose someone else from the region. Not uh, because they're not, maybe, maybe they studied, but they have different goals mm -hmm. it's either you go to a makeup artist that really invested in herself and her education mm -hmm. or you can go to another makeup artist that that the goal that she have for herself is self-taught maybe one or two courses mm -hmm. and all I want is to stay in a salon and take a clients and boom 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 and that's mm -hmm. it it's not gonna take me anywhere mm -hmm. for me no that will kill my talent mm -hmm. it will kill my feelings mm -hmm. I cannot I have to I have to be out there I want to be an international yes. makeup artist and I'm glad I did and so also she's uh, you see and when she talks the passionate in her eyes like yes, yes she's, she's like very into it yeah. yes mm. of course uh, so it's not only commercial or materialistic exactly. the goal is the talent the skill and the development personal development and professional exactly. development yes indeed yes indeed. that's amazing and of course uh, Sabicha now it's very intimidating talking to such a successful person like oh, you no. but we want to know and we want our dear viewers to know yes. about the challenges and have you ever thought of quitting uh, why would I quit that's what we want that, to know. That's what I'm <laughs> asking you. Like, why do you think I would quit or you stop? You Did know you have any challenges that, you know, you thought, I'm going to change my mind about this career? Maybe at the start of your career, you know, what are the difficulties that you have faced? Uh, there is a lot of difficulties. Success won't come easily and in, in, in the gold plate and serve to you. Mm -hmm. You have to go through it all. It wasn't an easy road, for sure. And for me to stop or quit just because of negative comments or mm -hmm. negative clients or you know contracts whatsoever no they will never let me stop because no one ever walked in your shoes mm -hmm. how would you allow anyone to ta to tell you how to tie your shoes and let you quit your job or leave it mm -hmm. never exactly never no so wow. it it goes me to another question the same topic like uh, you always like you like you like challenge at the end of course yeah so and when it comes to challenge you when in your work you are facing too many people like mm. celebrities mm. stars public figures yes. and expo 2020 andrea bocelli and yeah. the singer was there yes. tell me i was singers were there singers were yeah there. but i know there's too many stories you will not forget and it's like a challenge for you working with them. Tell yes. me about the experience. It's such a beautiful experience. It's completely different. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I was really shocked. They were very nice. Very, very nice. And humble also. And humble as well. Mm -hmm. Like uh, uh, the singer Kajo, the, the one she, she did the duet with the Muhammad Abdu. Yes. She's, she's lovely and down to earth. And while I was working on her, she asked me like, are you okay and I told her today is my daughter's birthday and you know I just feel sad that and I am she, here she wanted yeah. to see our gratitude yes. to her she's in the studio already also Habibti, yes yeah. and um, and it's my daughter's birthday and I am here to work and you know when I asked her you know I was so emotional like I asked her is it okay this is a job like it's never coming back again because Expo I think it's gonna happen 
after four or five years in yes. Korea yes. or Japan, in Japan, I'm Japan, yes. in Japan yeah. yeah. So I told her like, is it okay for me to do this job? And it's your birthday and I understand. She's like, yeah, just let me be proud of you. And the singer told me, give me your phone, let me send her a video and tell her happy birthday. Oh, that's so that sweet. That was so sweet, so sweet. This is just one example of that's many very, as well the nice. wife of Andrea Bocelli she really loved mm -hmm. my makeup when she saw everything and she told me oh wow uh, your your makeup is a quality and yeah. I was like oh my god that's such wow. a pleasure thank you so much and uh, she said like can I take one of the you know the sponges so she can you know dab, on, it, yeah. uh, dab on Andrea uh, his makeup and I was like yes of course and I was so happy like I couldn't believe like you know they are normal people huh uh, they are humans. Yes, yes they are yeah. humans. And, mm. you know, they love it when they see you. You're really calm and normal with them, and you don't give them the vibe of... The attention. Oh, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. and that's, you know, overexcitement. Yeah, to be, yeah. like, a crazy fan or something. Uh, that attitude, I would, yes. I would if it was Michael Jackson, I'm telling you. I would, <laughs> <laughs> I, I would for sure. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much, uh, Savita. Thank this you. has been a very lovely conversation, and Thank I don't you. want it to end, actually. Yeah. Yes. And before, before the end, yes. I want you to say something, advice to the viewers, and even would like to greet your daughter also in the Thank studio. Thank you. So we, at the end, we reach the end. Thank you so much. We say Thank all the you. time that good times run very fast. Yes. At the end, you want to say advice to the viewers or any tips you want to tell them? Um tips they can watch my social media but I prefer to say an advice for everyone mm -hmm. not only in makeup it's just in life for mm -hmm. everyone mm -hmm. that if you fall down you know and life started to you know to be empty it's okay just, just get back up again mm -hmm. don't don't point your fingers on people and blame your life blame your boss mm -hmm. blame your whomever family friends no blame yourself stand up again and start over again. Now you might say like, oh, I will go start again from zero. I would say no, you will be starting out of experience. Yes. So it's okay. Beautiful. Just Own yeah. it. Yes. Yes. Own it. Yes, exactly. So, so That's the advice. Sabicha Rashid would like to thank you. Thank you thank so you much, so much for being with us today. It's thank a you pleasure, so much. an honor, it's a pleasure. Pleasure all mine. Thank you so much. So all thank thanks you. to our distinguished guest, Sabicha Rashid. She's in a makeup art. It's already an art. At the end, she already mentioned to everyone who's watching us through the KTV2, focus on your goal. You have too many struggles to do. Just keep going. Keep going. You will achieve. Now, dear viewers, go to this break. They will continue your show. Good morning, Kuwait.